Well, I was hired as a lab technician. My boss at Ideal was hired by Grant Rock, that was Val Verruti. And then Val came by one day and said, I have a job for you, I think. Very simple, all you have to do is uh, interview with Betsy Wolpert, and we'll see where that goes. Actually kind of funny, back in like it was 1978 or 1979 and I was very young, I came to work at the time they called it an executive secretary or an executive assistant or whatever. And I came to work and I was young, I wasn't married yet, and I was kind of new to construction. And you have to understand that at that time things were different for professional women. So as an executive secretary, I found out I was required to do things like serve coffee and stuff. And me being, you know, kind of young and kind of a rebel, I wasn't really interested in serving anybody coffee but myself. So, so that was kind of comical because that was commonplace at that time. Okay, so then I came back to work for Shirley in 1983 and they brought me on part-time to do handle the workers' comp for the company, and I figured Shirley wouldn't make me serve coffee. <laughs> Earlier, my cousins owned a con concrete uh, company in Sacramento. They had two divisions, and while I was riding racehorses in the morning and in the afternoon, I would go help them put down concrete. So they had a, a, a pool decking company and uh, civil uh, banks and highways. And so I, I got a little flavor of that and I, and I liked it. Formerly I worked for Granite Construction for 18 years. And there I handled uh, the concrete schedule, the concrete crews, as well as uh, an area superintendent role. Uh, my construction manager was uh, Christopher Schwimm. I remember the first job I ever did with Granite Rock was a, a, uh, a water and paving job in Soledad and basically grind out some streets, uh, fix it, you know, and then pave them and all that. And anyway, we're starting going and uh, had grinders and trucks running all over the place and all this and uh, we had a safety meeting scheduled. And so I got with uh, Steve Moore, was the gentleman that hired me. And so I called him up and he's like, hey Steve, I'll uh, kind of gear down to like a Bones crew and all of this and that thing for tomorrow while it's on. He says, no, nope. just shut her down. And I mean, we just brought these grinders in. I've got all these trucks set up and just shut them down for a day. And so that was, that was kind of an eye opening uh, for me in the sense that, and they meant it, you know, they put their money where their mouth was on the safety side of things. What does Granite Rock stand for? Well, first and foremost, that comes to mind is people and how much the people at Granite Rock Company value each other. People follow good managers. One of the things that really attracted me was following a good manager. And when I got here that uh, Tom came and introduced himself and welcomed me to the company and that the company has the core value structure is that how I like living and how I like working for a company. So that was a just, that was a huge attraction. And I wouldn't work for another company without those values. And uh, you know, the crew here is the best crew. I, I've never, in any place that I've worked with in Granite Rock, it's always been great people to work with. Well, I can tell my older self that it's time for the next generation to, to step up and, and help lead the company. Um, it, it really is time and we've got a group of great people working for Granite Rock Company and some major, you know, young, young ones that are going to step up and take this company into the future. It's going to be quite a change. Uh, a lot of friends have asked me about my job and what I do, and I started thinking about it. I started delivering newspapers for the Monterey Peninsula Herald when I was 12 years old. I've had a job for 66 years. And now my wife tells me, you still have a job. You're a house husband. Um, just enjoy life. 
we're uh, we're pretty simple. We've got kids sc scattered all over the place, and just uh, and a bunch of uh, <laughs> honeydew projects. Yeah, so just uh, just to continue jo enjoying life. But no, it's been a great experience. I love Granite Rock. It, it's provided for my family for all these years, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And uh, you know, it's actually really difficult to retire. I've got things I, I, I want to do, um, but I'm going to miss Granite Rock an awful lot. 